Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Nice, very good. La disculpa del caso por venir un poco tarde, estaba en el otro grupo, pero pues ya vamos a iniciar. Vamos a esperar solo un minutito mientras se une el demás. Okay, welcome to uh, the English class. This is intermediate, right? So you speak very well English already. Uh, my name is Eric, and I will be your teacher for this module. Um, if you have questions, if you need help, if you need more homework, if you need uh, to understand some things better, if you need me to change the way that I teach you, Anything that you may want, you can just tell me, and it will be a pleasure to help, okay? So probably the first thing that we're okay. going to do is to introduce ourselves. Of course, I will be the first one, right? So, my name is Eric. I live in Santa Ana. I like music a lot. I like to read. I like to watch uh, TV shows and movies. I like um, nature to cook and um, it will be a pleasure to be with you in this module okay nice to meet you and um, anybody can be the first one to introduce yes I am okay go ahead please good evening my name is Mauricio I live in San Salvador and I like I like to see movies and, and well, this moment I am, I, I'm learning two languages, uh, Portuguese and English in this moment with us. And yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very interesting, Mauricio. Uh, Portuguese, uh, don't you? I mean, are you advanced already in Portuguese? Yes. I I am more prepared mm -hmm. with Portuguese than English. <laughs> Interesting. That's good. Nice to know that one. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Who wants to be next? I'm the next. Go ahead. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Josue Contreras. I live in San Salvador. I like to play soccer. I like to play video games as well. And also I like to to study because it's very important for me and my future. And I'm I'm I am a very friendly person and I I want to to learn to learn English with us. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the Thanks. English Nice to meet you. Okay, who wants to be next? Sorry. Okay. Okay, my name is Rigoberto Mahano. Uh, I live in Salvador, uh, Oyapango. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know if the other ones are, but I can barely hear you. Will you please repeat? I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, my name is uh, Rigoberto Mahano, and I live in San Salvador. I am studying lawyer to lawyer in the University of Salvador. Um, uh, I like to uh, go to the church. I go to elite church in San Salvador, and I have uh, learned a lot of math of English. Very good. Nice to meet you, Rigoberto. Welcome to the nice English. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, who wants to be next? Just it. Okay. 
Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jose. Uh, I am 30, uh, 31 years old. No, 30, 31 years old. I live in San Salvador. <coughs> I work in Banco Promerica. I am an audit and I I want to learn English because it's, it's, it's very important. Only that. That's good. Welcome to the English class and nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, who's next? <laughs> okay, I want to be the next. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Karen Patricia Jaime and I, I am a system engineer and I have a beautiful family. I have two kids, uh, very beautiful boys and I like uh, to read very much. I really enjoy uh, reading a lot of books and first of all, uh, I prefer novels and I like to see, to, to watch movies. And I enjoy to spend time with my family. It's uh, one of my, um, the, the, the better things that I, I like. And um, well, I, I, I study before in another, uh, in another uh, places, uh, English, uh, but uh, I have two years uh, without studying English, so I want to complete my study because I want to improve my speaking, reading, and listening too. Um, and it, it's a play, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you. Welcome, and nice to meet you. Who wants to be I next? Want to be, I want to be the next. Go ahead, please. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrea Alejandra Tejada Ortiz. I study nursing. I, I am 21 years old and I like the dogs and I really love the dogs. <laughs> this is my dog. Oh, beautiful. And, and I like watch TV and listo. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the English class and uh, nice to meet you. Um, who else is? Okay, I continue. Hi, how are you? My name is uh, Luis Fernando Diaz. I'm a public accountant. I live in Santa Ana, but uh, work in San Salvador. Uh, I like uh, ride, a bike, ride a bike with my twin. And for me, it's very important to study English. Okay, very good. So, nice to meet you, Luis. And nice to meet you. Who's next? Okay, Roxana. Oh. Okay. Um, good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Roxana Mendoza. Okay. And I live in Chalchuapa. Okay. And I like to to cook and I like doing exercise too and, and I like to learn more English with you. <laughs> okay, only that. Okay, nice to meet you, Roxanne. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay, who else is missing? Okay, I will be the next one. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Antonio. I live in Olocuilta and I really like to play soccer, to play the guitar. And uh, well, I am an entrepreneur. I make shoes and I sell it in making marketing, digital marketing. And I really want to learn English because uh, English will open me new opportunities for my future. Very good. I'm That's very all. sure that is. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Who else is missing? There are just a few. Um, okay. I want to be the next one. Go ahead. Uh, okay. My name is Cecilia Rivas. 
and I live in La Libertad, exactly in Puerto de la Libertad. And I like to watch movie, and also I like to cook a lot. And also I like to play piano and I learn um, French uh, language also. Very good. And that's all. Nice. Nice to meet you, Cecilia. Nice to meet you too. Okay, who's next? Good night. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, my name is Juan Jose. Nice to meet you. Uh, I like to play uh, soccer and basketball. I like the music and I like to see video games uh, in YouTube. That's all. Okay, nice to meet you, John. <laughs> okay, just a few are missing. Who wants to be next? Anybody? Okay, hello. My name is Oli Constanza. Um, I am World uh, Telefonica. I live in San Salvador. Um, I learn is English best uh, working. I, I like music, um, everything, the todo. I love cook, um, I watch series, TV, Netflix. Um, uh, uh, I am studying English. Um, I like, I read book um, everything that's it okay nice to meet you Linda. nice to meet you okay who else is missing let's listen to Mirna hey. oh, go ahead. Carlos Emilio Creo que quería Felix. Felix is right. Felix. Uh, good night, uh, everybody. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Felix Amaya. Um, um, I like to uh, watch a movie and play soccer. Um, um, uh, that. Uh, okay, perfect, Felix. That's what nice to meet you. Hi. Now we're going to listen to Mirna. Good night. Good night. Hello. Good night. Hello, can you hear me? A little bit, not that much. Okay. Uh, my name is Mirna Barabona. I am a content. I like movies, I like to practice English, and I hope to learn more. And I live in Santa Ana City. And only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Myrna. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Let's to meet you, too. Let's listen to... Luis Diaz. Hello? Probably not here. Michelle? Hello. Good night. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I don't know if the other can hear you. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Michelle de Pacheco. I have 29 years old. I live in Santa Tecla. I live with my my mom, my, my husband, and my two boys. Uh, I like um, see movies in Netflix. I like uh, sleep very much. <laughs> um, this is all. Okay, nice to meet you, Michelle. 
Uh, nice just to meet you now. too. Josemith. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Josemith Caravante. I live in Aguilares. I love to learn English. I have two kids. Uh, also, they both are boys. And they are my true love. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, I love to travel inside of the country, um, beach, um, mountain, and everything like that. So I can have so many memories with my family. And I just study international relation affairs. Actually, I graduated like two years ago from the University of El Salvador. And now I just stay home about the pandemic. <laughs> okay, good, good. So that's it. And nice, okay, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Okay, Roger. Okay, good night, everyone. My name is Roger. I am 28. I live in Santa Tecla. I work in Tesla. I want to learn English because I like it. I like to play soccer and table tennis. Um, nice to meet you too. Only that. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I guess okay. the last one is Samuel. Hi guys. My name is Samuel Isaac. I live in Cojutepeque. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I like learning English in my free time. Mm, uh, I'm a graphic designer and at the moment I work as a mechanic because I have future plans in other country. Very good. Thank you, Samuel. Okay, I guess You're everybody welcome. has done that, right? Is anybody missing? I don't think so. Okay. Well, so welcome to the English class. We're gonna practice a few things here. Um, maybe the, the next question is, uh, do, do you have access already to the platform? Have you had any issues, any problems? Does everybody have access to the, to the platform? Todavía no hemos ingresado, por lo menos yo. No. Todavía, todos, no. ninguno ha ingresado. In, Nobody? In my case, no. yes, yes I, I log in in the platform in, uh, yesterday, so I, I log in. You were able, okay. I don't have problem. I don't have problem. Okay. And the rest? Roxana? I could Teacher. enter too. I'm sorry, go ahead. I did. Everything is okay. Okay. Oh, Teacher? I worked in the section one mm -hmm. and I do the, the exercise in this section, but I don't know if, uh, if I, um, it's necessary to, 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 to do more exercise and other, in another sections too. Oh, one section per day. Uh, I I I need to do in in, in the platform. Uh, well, that is up to you. Um, my best advice for you is to go little by little uh, to do the first section. Uh, here, uh, the purpose of this class is to practice. We're going to check some grammar, but mostly what we're going to do is to try to practice, try to speak, try to check pronunciation. Um, I know that everybody has a different level. So you need to, to work the, one, uh, the things that are more difficult for you. Some people are very good by listening. Some other people are very good to read. Some other are very good to write. So you need to identify what you need to practice. Um, here on my side, what I will do is we're going to try to do lots of speaking. I will speak, but you are going to speak very much. And also, um, 
if you need exercises. I mean, you can do the ones from the platform, uh, but I can send you more exercises on the chat so you can practice, check some other vocabulary, and um, yeah, to be sure that you have learned uh, English. Well, it's like that. The first important thing in English is to understand. If you understand how things work, fine. And the second important thing is to practice. Once you understand, you need to practice. So that's what we are going to try to do. So you can go and do the exercises in the platform. You don't have to do them, all of them in a week or something like that. We can work in a different way as well, okay? And also, if you need something from me, if you need me to help you in different ways to change something in the classes, you can tell me and it will be a pleasure. And in the chat, you can also send me questions uh, in the group chat or individual. You can chat uh, with me directly and it will be a pleasure to help you, okay? Eric, I want okay, uh, to you. ask you one thing. Go ahead. Is, ne is necessary going to the platform uh, before the class or after the class with you? Mm, I guess that that depends on you. I mean, what I try to do is to bring the grammar that is there on the platform. Sometimes I add vocabulary, readings, games, uh, or practice to speak. It's going to be uh, the basic, uh, the one that is there on the platform. Uh, but sometimes I add more, more things. That's what I try to do. So if you feel good to go to the platform frame uh, first, I'm sorry, and get familiar to that one, that is good. Some other people, they might want to come to the class first and then go to the, uh, to the platform. So that is up to you. You can do it either or. And the good thing, the important thing is that if you have questions uh, in the platform or in the class, tell me the questions. That is very important. Any questions. Um, we're going to try to speak only in English. But if something is very difficult, you can say that in Spanish, okay? But please try to use only English because intermediate is more for practicing, you know, to get more vocabulary, to, to speak a little bit more. So when you get to at the advanced level, it's just to polish what you are going to speak. That is it, okay? So let's try our best and uh, you can do it the way that you feel better. First the class and then the platform or first the platform and then the class. The only thing is just remember about the midterm test and also about the final test, right? So those have specific days that has uh, to be done. Other than that, uh, as, as long as you continue in the platform and you come to the classes, everything will be fine. So uh, that will depend on each one. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Depending to each one. Yeah, that depends on you. That depends ah. on you. You can do the platform first and then class or the opposite. Whatever is good for you. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. But nice. teacher. Go ahead. And the topic for today is the simple pass. Yeah, we're going to start the simple pass. Actually, that is the next question. Oh, well, before we move on, uh, is, anybody else has problems with the platform or, or doesn't but the have access? Because the first topic in the in the platform is simple past. That is correct. Yeah, simple past. Okay, so if nobody has more questions about the platform, yes, we're going to uh, start with the simple past. Maybe the first question is, uh, did you study the simple past before? Or is this is the first time that you are going to check on that? No, I, I studied in, at the university, the simple past, but my problem is in speaking is the grammar i i think i, I understand more okay. but my speaking is my problem i i have problem when i try to say something and and the no it is difficult for me okay. to express my ideas in. okay we're going but to work i would that. like to practice this is more. my first time <laughs> But, but uh, I have a question. Go ahead. About the platform, and the plan, and 
uh, the section uh, contain a, a lot of videos. Uh, first of all, is an ex explanation, ex explication, how, how do you say? Explanation, yeah. Explanation about the, the topic. And after that, or, or, the, or a video, or, or it's, a, um, uh, it's a video about the, the grammar, and after that exercise, exercises, and, and, and other videos about the YouTube. But in that videos, I don't know if I watch uh, all videos in that, in that, uh, in the platform. I don't know uh, why, uh, because the, the section is contain only the grammar and the exercise. It, is 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 no listening listening activities no no is not part of the platform or the material or i don't know how do you, how can i say i don't know i don't know if you understand me yeah, about I, my question yeah, probably the question is because you have learned many things in different um, academies and schools and probably this is a little bit different uh, the videos are like the listening. So you are going to listen to check pronunciation and check the explanation. Um, if you want listening exercise, extra listening exercise, of course, I can send you on the chat group some exercises so you can continue practicing. So this is the good thing about this, that you are going to have like the basic in the platform. Maybe the most important for the platform is that you finish your exercises because oh. that is going to allow you to continue once you finish your exercises remember that at the end uh, you will be able to see the graphic and uh, the percentage of your development in this um, in this class but the class itself this one uh, if you need more exercises about this or the other one more listening more writing uh, we can do that one here i mean i'm very open so if you tell me let's do this or uh, let's change this we are going to do that, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? I was asking you if this is the very first time that you are going to check in deep uh, the simple past tense, or have you seen that in another module? I don't remember. Here in my case, I, I studied the simple past, but around when I was eight years old, maybe. So uh, currently I can't remember the uh, structure for the affirmative uh, sentence or negative sentence question. Um, I think I need to, to practice the, the simple past again. Okay, so nice. Now knowing that one, we're going to start and I'm going to present you my uh, little presentation. We're going to start with um, we're going to start with uh, verb to be. So the first question is: Do you remember when do we use the simple present tense? Um, Not it's talking about, about the, the past. Go ahead, please. It's about the daily routines. Daily Sim routines, habits, right? Habits. habits. Good. Okay, so. If that is for routines, when do we use the simple past tense? Uh, I don't know, it's about... It's, it's about activities that you do, uh, the, the activities in the past. <laughs> I don't know. But definitely, actually it's for past actions. For example, I what? That, go ahead, anybody? For, for example, I was, you were, they were. So the simple past is going to be for activities that finished already. Okay. Oh, yes, see, yes, yes. There was an ending of the activity. So for example, if you say, I was in England, that means that you are back, you are here, okay? The activity finished already, that is, maybe the, the usage of that one, okay? So we are going to start with the simple 
past tense of the verb to be. I'm going to show you. Uh, if um, you can see very well something, you just tell me and I'm going to present everything. But uh, let me know. I know that some of you, you use your cell phone and sometimes it's kind of difficult. But this is like the verb to be past tense. Okay? It's very, very easy actually. I guess you have an idea on this. So for affirmative, as you may see here, was, and uh, that is going to be for all the singular. I was happy, he was hungry, uh, she was a nurse, it was big. So everything that has to do with the singular is going to be was. And with the plural, it's going to be were. For example, we were early, you were at school, they were quiet. So, do you have any questions about this first part that is um, affirmative? Any question? Wasn't no, was. any question. Go ahead. Okay, so, good. Go ahead. No, no questions. No, no question. Okay, very good. No, that is okay. So for the negative is also very easy. Was is going to go to wasn't. Very important now that you are intermediate level, the pronunciation of the N and the apostrophe and the T. Some people, uh, they say wasn't, but it's not wasn't, it's wasn't. 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 Because there is no E there. You don't say wasn't. It's not possible. It's Was. wasn't. Wasn't. So, in it this wasn't. case, it's going to be, I wasn't sad. I it's wasn't like, sad. It's like yeah, a that's song. a good exercise. Let's repeat, okay? We're going to repeat affirmative and negative. Everybody. I was happy. 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 I wasn't, I wasn't happy. sad. I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. He was Hungry. He, he was, was hungry. hungry. he wasn't thirsty. He wasn't thirsty. thirsty. She, was she was a nurse. She was she a was nurse. nurse. She wasn't a teacher. She, she, she was a teacher. It was big. It was, it was big. big. It wasn't small. It, it was, was, it was small. 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 We were early. We were, we were early. 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 We were early. We weren't late. We weren't we were late. 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 We were late. at school. You, you were, were at, at school. school. At school. You weren't at home. You weren't at home. We weren't at home. We weren't at home. They were quiet. They, they were quiet. They were quiet. They weren't noisy. They, they weren't, weren't noisy. noisy. Okay. So as you can see, uh, wasn't is the pronunciation. In the other word, yeah, weren't, it has an E. So it's going to be weren't. That is no. But the first one is wasn't. And you can also say was not. I was not there. I was not. Okay. It's possible. That is not a difference between that one. Okay. So... Any question before we continue? No. Okay, for the questions, it's going to be very easy as well. It's very similar to the present. So uh, you are going to move the verb to be before the subject. That is it, right? So if in affirmative we say they were happy, you are going to change that to were they happy? Remember intonation in questions, okay? Were they happy? Okay, that is important. They were happy. Were they happy? You don't say, were they happy? No. Were they happy? Were they happy? <laughs> that is it. Uh -huh. Were they the happy? Is the same. Okay, she were was they happy. happy. Were was they happy? She was happy. Okay. And for the answers, remember that we can answer in a short way. Yes, they were. No, yes, they, they were. were. And uh, mm. in singular, the other one also. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Very good. 
Any questions about interrogative? Mm -hmm. Okay, also remember that we can also have uh, WH questions with the verb to be in the past. Okay, so in that situation it's going to be exactly the same, but the only difference is that the WH word is going to be at the beginning. So, for example, yeah. we can say, where was I sick? Where was, where I, was, sick? Where where was I sick? Where was I sick? Where was I sick? Where was I sick? Where was he sick? Good. And the same happens with the other ones, like why? Why, why? was he sick? So for example, why was he sick? And with the plural, it's going to be exactly the same. When were you ready? When were when you ready? ready? Okay, so um, let's practice a little bit. If I'm going to tell you the questions that are below, and you tell me an answer, any answer that matches with the question. So for example, if I ask you, why was he angry? Why, why, he was, he why angry? was he angry? Why was he angry? And Angry. He was angry because he lost uh, the ball. Okay, he was angry because that is important. And then you say the reason why. Nice. If the other one says, when was she nervous? What is an answer for that? Mm. Any answer? Um, she has nervous when when she has uh, an exam, for example. Okay, it's good. Oh, she, but Remember it, that? It's in the past. She was. She, exactly. She was uh -huh. nervous uh, before minutes when I speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So that will be it. I mean, you can say, uh, just remember that you are going to use also the simple past, right? So you are going to say, when was she nervous? As she was nervous yesterday, for example. She was nervous before the presentation. She was nervous um, when she took the test. So the verbs are going to be in past. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Of course, we're going to check the other verbs later on. By now, we're going to check the verb to be. The next question, it says, where were you yesterday? When were you yesterday? What would be an answer for that? Okay, when were you? I were in my home. I was? I was. I was at home. I was at home. That is I the important I was in the home. stadium. I was oh. at the stadium. Hey, you went to the stadium. Oh, it's like I'm coming for mañana. Okay, yeah, so that is important. If I ask you I in the past, your answer is in past. Okay, I this is a very good example. Say, Where were you yesterday? I was. Okay, and then it could be any answer. The, 30, 30 the other one. Oh, this is interesting. So I hear any were... noise. I'm sorry? I hear any noise. Okay, just be careful about the microphones if uh, you are speaking with your family there. <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, the other question says, who were the oh, those people? Who were those people? What would be an answer for that? Who were those people? Who were those people? Um, who were? They were my relatives or my parents. Okay, they were. They were. They were my relatives. They were. They my were friends. my parents. Remember that also you can answer in a different way. For example, if you say who were those people, I can say, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, right? That is I don't possible. Know. <laughs> if that is the, if that is the true. I mean, you can use that one. Okay. So, my friends, is there any question about simple past with the verb to be? 
rules are the same as in present. Just remember that. And remember to match. If you have a question, remember to match in the answer with the verb in past. That is important, okay? No questions? Well, if you don't have questions, we are going to practice. And hold on, this is John. Okay, here we go. Are you able to read? Can you read? Yes. Okay, this is going to be very easy, I guess. So, uh, number one, how is it going to be in simple past, of course, with the verb to be? I'm the first one. Go ahead. I was happy. Oh, good. I was happy. And if I want to transform that into negative? I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Good. But I, I can say okay. I was not happy. You can say that, yeah. Okay. But uh, which is better? Mm, maybe it's more common. It's not that it's better, but it's more okay. common to say the contraction. To say. Oh, okay. Okay. okay That's what thanks. most people do. Okay, number two. Who wants to do number two? You were angry. You were angry. angry. <laughs> you were angry. angry. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do an exercise in the class. Sometimes I'm going to ask you about a word. And you are going to explain in English. Very easy. So, for example, if I say, um, what is a TV? You can say, oh, a TV is a device where you can watch movies and TV shows and things like that. Okay? You can say anything as long as it's correct. You send what is? You send what is? I'm sorry. Uh, could you please repeat? You send what is? What is? Yeah. I just don't get the question. Could you please do the question? No, no. You say uh, the the. Uh, uh, okay. We have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we, I can ask you any any question about any word that we're going to find in the exercises. And I'm going to tell you, um, what is this word? So you are going to tell me the meaning of the word, but in English. Oh, okay. 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 All right. okay. But words that, that, that we can find in the exercise, in the yeah. practice. Now we're going to, uh, I mean, that's why I bring these exercises so we can practice and also have a more vocabulary. Okay. We practice a little bit more. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, how is it going to be number three? I went. She, she was, was in, London in London last week. Good. She, she was in London last week. Ah, definitely. Okay, now let's go to number four. He was on holiday. He was on holiday. Good. What is a holiday? Holiday um, is a party. May 1st. First. first of holiday. Is yeah. September. The same of vacation. Yeah. Yes. Vacation is festivity. At Christmas. Similar of vacation. Nice. Like Semana Santa. At Christmas. Like Holy Week. Yeah. At Holy Week. Yeah, nice. Um, good, good. Okay, let's continue. Uh, what it will be number five? It was cooked. It was cooked. It was cooked. It was cooked. Nice. Uh, what it will be number six? We were at school. We were at school. We were at school. At school. We were at school. What will be number seven? You, you were, were at, at the cinema. Were at the cinema. 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 Okay. You were at the cinema. Good. What is cinema? Cinema. 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 It's not. It's not yeah. cinema. 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 Yeah, in English cinema. it's different the pronunciation. Cinema. What is that? What is a cinema? Cinema. Uh, oh. It's um. Uh, is a movie theater is that similar or movie theater that is it correct when you so can visit like... to, to watch movies or some series maybe mm -hmm. um, that's it perfect that's nice 
Okay. But it's a place and you watch the movies? Yeah, it's a place where you go and watch movies oh. that are coming back. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh. let's move on. Uh, number eight. They, they were at home. They were at home. They were at home. They were at home. Number uh, nine. The cat, uh, the cat, the cat, the cat was, was on the roof. The old was on the roof. The old is like roof. an animal, right? The roof. Okay. Uh, number ten. The children, the children were in the garden. The were in the garden. Were in the garden. Good. Children were in the garden. Let's go to the other chart. Number one. I was in Canberra last spring. Good. I was in Canberra last spring. Do you know where is Canberra? Canberra is a city in Australia. I'm sorry? What? Canberra is a city in Australia. In Australia. It's a city. Yeah. Yes, it's a city. Oh, it's a city. Yeah, in Australia. In Australia. And what is spring? It's a season. Uh, season? Verano. Yeah. Oh, it's primavera? Yeah, it's like that. The other one is summer, right? Good. So, number two. We were, we were, were at, at school last Saturday. 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 Good. We were at school last Saturday. Nice. Number three. Tina was at home yesterday. Good. Tina was at home yesterday. Number four. That's very easy. He, he was, was happy. He was happy. He was happy. Nice. Number uh, five. Roberto Bird. and, 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 and Gary's friend. huh? friends. Okay. Where Gary's friends. Where Gary's Bird. friends. Good, where? Because it's a plural. Number six. You were very busy on Friday. Where the market? You were very busy on Friday. What is to be busy? Busy when you busy. Go. Oh, uh, When you have a lot of many, a lot of activities. So many activities. Good. When you have well, well, that you need to do. Right. <laughs> nice. That you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> Number uh, seven. They were in front of the supermarket. They were in front of the supermarket. Nice. Number eight. I was, I in, was, the was in the museum. museum. The museum. Yeah. Okay, very good. I was in the museum. The museum. What is a museum? Museum, museum. museum is a museum. Museum. Uh, museum is, is a place where you can place. see a, a lot of pictures or or and uh, things, Which antique one? things, Artistic. antique. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. A museum is a place where you can go and see art, right? In general, nice. Yeah. Number nine. She was, she was in South Africa last month. South Africa was in South Africa last month. South Africa. So. South and uh, number 10. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. That is it, my friend. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. Nice. What is to be late? They were in the I'm in Finnish. They were in the mall. Yeah, it's when you are out of time, when you are not on time, right? Not on they time. were in the okay. salon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Any questions here? No, teacher. Okay. It's a little difficult to think in English when you try to. <laughs> that uh, uh, meaning in English is. <laughs> <laughs> complicated. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what we are here. We are going to practice and that's the most important thing. I mean, it's a process to learn English. You need to think, to think in English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, we need to do that at this level. Okay, this is negative. Okay. All of those are going to be negative. Oh, negative. So, number one, how is it going to be? 
They weren't. They weren't ill. Ill. They weren't ill. Weren't. To be sick. To be sick. Very good. Ill is to be sick. Number two. You, you weren't, weren't tired. 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 You weren't tired. Nice. What is tired? To be tired. To be tired. 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 Uh, <laughs> when, do you when you need them, relax. You don't. Yeah. You don't you, relax. You relax. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Like today after the English class. <laughs> Number three. The children. The children, children were quiet. Quiet. And quiet. And quiet. And quiet. Were quiet. The children weren't quiet. Nice. Weren't. Number four. Max, Max was in Helsinki last week. Helsinki last week. Yeah. So, Max, remember the pronunciation. Wasn't. 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 In Helsinki last week. Where is Helsinki? Do you know? Helsinki. It's the city. It's a city. In which country? Do you have an idea? I don't, I don't know. have idea. Alaska. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't have idea. <laughs> I I remember the Casa de Papel. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> it's in Finland. It's in, uh, Finland. It's the capital of Finland. Yeah, good. Ah, okay. nice. Capital of Finland. <laughs> oh. Okay, number five. Number five. She wasn't home for dinner. Number six. The water was the cold. Water. 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 Seven. Mm -hmm. the, there. There. There oh, wasn't a letter, good thing to be. A little, it's a small for me. <laughs> I have a problem oh, with sorry. my glasses. I don't know if this is better for you. Let me just. Yeah. Okay, is that better? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is, it's the same. It's the same, haven't changed. No, it's the same. Okay, let me then just do something else. Hold on a second. It was. What about that? Yeah. Yeah. It's better. It's better. Okay, nice. <laughs> so we are in. I don't remember number. Number seven. Eight. Number seven. Seven. Number How seven. Is there wasn't a good there, feel on TV there yesterday. There wasn't a good film on TV yesterday. Good. So there wasn't a good film on TV yesterday. Yesterday. Nice. Number eight. We, we were, were in, in Brazil last, last winter. Last winter. Last winter. We weren't in Brazil last winter. We weren't. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is winter? Invierno. Invierno. In English? The season where it's season. very cold. The season. The season. It's cold. It's cold. It rains. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Rainy. Good. Sometimes. <laughs> Number <laughs> nine. Betsy and Florence weren't at school. Betty and Florence weren't at school this morning. Weren't at school this morning. Weren't at school this morning. Good. Betty and Florence weren't at, weren't school, at school, school morning. Nice. What about number 10? I was wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Okay, so I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy when I, when I hear about the accident. I wasn't. I wasn't. The situation is going to be hurt. So I wasn't happy when I heard about the accident. Heard is the past of here. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next part. Probably it's going to be the last part of the class today. Ah, this is good. Number one. Has been. 
What is the trip? I Alguien tiene dos when you dos it's, it's when you travel to other place. Yeah, trip is like when you go and travel, right? But it's a, a small trip. It's, it's not that. Some vacation. A little vacation when you go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that one, right? Okay, when number you go two. To... I was in London last summer. I was in London last summer. Last summer. Good. Number three. My sister and her friend weren't at a nice restaurant. What about number four? I went to a new year, but she was not home. She wasn't at home. She wasn't at home. I went to Olivia, but she wasn't at home. Went. What is went? She was. I went is the past or go? The verb past of go. Went is the past of go. Okay. Number five. My friends were friends. Very fast. Very busy. busy. Very busy. Very busy. My friends were very busy. Good. Number six. The weather, the weather, is weather wasn't, wasn't, weather wasn't good. good there. Good there. The weather wasn't good there. The weather, weather wasn't good there. What is weather? Weather. Weather. It's, the, it's, it's the time. It's like the time. Well, like maybe when it's cold or hot. Good. If it's cold, if it's hot, if it's... Well, nowadays it's crazy weather. Glow. Number seven. The exercise. The exercise. Okay, good. So this one has a trick, right? Because it has two verbs. So it's going to be the exercises weren't easy. Well, they were difficult. difficult. They were difficult. Okay. Uh, we have one negative and then the other affirmative. Because there are two sentences. I did I I didn't look the, the second part because it's for the pictures or I don't know. <laughs> our bro, our face. <laughs> oh okay. the feed is negative. Yeah, the first one is negative. You can is move positive. a little of left. Uh, well, on the actually, left, like this, because here I, I cannot do that more. But it's going to be the exercises weren't easy, they were difficult. But I can't see, mm, I don't know what you don't see. I, actually, I, I cannot move. I mean, it's that is the must. They, they all. The whole part, the second yeah, part. As you can see here, this I am not able to move that more. I don't know why you oh. don't see that very well. Okay, just two more. Number eight. Lisa and Harry were happy. were angry. Were happy. They, they were angry. angry. Good. Well, so Lisa and Henry weren't very happy. They were angry. Nice. Okay. And what about number nine? We weren't at home. We were at home. We were at home. We were at home. We were at home. It was very boring. It was very boring. Okay. So, uh, do you have, uh, well, what is boring? Do you remember what is boring? A boring. No funny. Yes. Uh, sad. Boring. The opposite for boring. The opposite when you have it. anything to do. Yeah, boring is excited. like... Excited. Not excited, right? Not excited. It's uh, when you don't have anything to do and you would like to do something else. Okay. Okay, my friends. We are going to stop this practice and we are going to continue tomorrow. So, before we uh, finish, is uh, there any question? Anything uh, 
that you have seen or anything with the platform that I can help you with? Tomorrow we use the same link? Yeah, or it's the going to be always the same meeting? link. So you just click on that one and you uh, get into the class and I will be waiting for you. Probably, uh, since I have another class earlier, sometimes, well, today I was two minutes late. Um, so just wait for me, I'm going to be there. Sometimes, if it's possible, I will be earlier, like three or four minutes before the class. Uh, and as I was telling you before, if you have questions, if you want to ask something, if you have problems with the platform, um, you can text me in the group or you can text me uh, directly and uh, oh, it will be a pleasure to help you throughout the day, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. it was a pleasure to okay. meet you today. This was just our first class and I'm very sure that we are going to practice many things and uh, get to learn many other things. So, have a good night and see good you. Good night. Thanks. Good night. 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 Good night.